we hit the ground running surveying over 600 young people about their experiences with suspensions and arrests and police brutality in schools. And we turned all that data into a comic book. And, um, you know, it was really important to collect that body of data because A, so much of the existing data, if it was being collected in schools, was very biased. It wasn't reflecting real experiences. And B, it was so helpful for us to not just in Miami, push back and fight for policies like restorative justice. But, you know, even to this day, I still hear of people, you know, who were youth organizers back then in cities like Knoxville, in, in Oakland, in Denver, who use the comic book. You know, and that just propelled me on this kind of wave of like, wow, like, you know, data, you know, yes, we live in a world where historically data has been weaponized against Black communities, but in the right hands, data can be such a powerful tool to speak for people who usually don't have a voice.